Shalom, Shalom, Akim, it's your brother here, Yakanim. And first and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakakwadash, Barakadum, and double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstones who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful and let the brothers that are putting in this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I like to say, Shalom. Okay, this is a quick transit headed back from dropping my son off at school, but I'm in the spirit, so the topic is about to be on effort. Okay, work ethic and efforts, and how those things can transfer to you to being great. Okay, because a lot of people misconstrued what being great and being legendary and greatness, what it really means. Okay, it's not really about achieving anything. Okay, because you can have millionaires, you can have billionaires that. That have everything that you can desire That doesn't mean they're great Some of them people have been handed things But some of them people busted their ass to get there You know what I mean? And once you acquire, I guess uh, In this world, greatness is equated to I guess what you materialistically have But everybody's terms of greatness is kind of different My opinion on greatness is that greatness never stops No matter what you achieve It's who you are, it's what you embody It's what you become, it's what you live out you know what I mean? So if I was to hit the lotto tomorrow and win a billion dollars, that doesn't make me great because money don't define me. You know, what defines me is my actions, my mindset, my work ethic, my effort, what I live, what I preach, what I can pass down. That is what legacy is. That is what greatness is. Greatness and legacy is something that far outweighs your existence. You know, it far, it, it, it's going to be here when you're not. That is what legendary is. That is what greatness is. And the money you make, the materialistic things you have, they won't be here long after when you're gone. So to sit there and have them things determine you and make you shows how little worth that you provide yourself as, that you look at yourself as, you know? Greatness is, is, is something that's just in you, okay? You live it every day, okay? Your greatness is something with having to do with effort and work ethic. How hard are you willing to work? How much are you willing to do? What are you willing to go through? What are you willing to go through to grow through to get better? Because scriptures speak about all the adversary, all the trials and tribulations through the fire, okay? Fighting the fight of faith, fighting the temptations, fighting the wickedness. Greatness is all about fighting, okay? You can't be great unless you fight, okay? Work ethic is all about continuing to fight. No matter how many times we fall down, no matter how many losses we take, no, ma no matter how much people doubt us or sleep on us or think we're going to lose, none of that matters if you're not willing to put the work in. It doesn't matter. If you're not willing to sacrifice and suffer to succeed, then you won't be successful. If you're not willing to sacrifice and lose sleep and work when you're depressed and work when you're happy and work when you're a millionaire and work when you're broke and give all out effort on a bad day than you do on a good day, then you won't be great. That's just what it takes. And that's why greatness is reserved for those one to 5% people. Maybe 95% of the world might take taste what greatness truly means. And the rest of the 95 are just kind of here living and existing. You know, they're, they're really dying. They're not really living because to live is to live in this truth. To live is to be blessed with the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That is what true living is, to know the truth. To know who you are as a people, as a nation. To know your role. To know your power. To know your purpose. Okay? A man without purpose is lost. And our purpose as men of the Lord is to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and to feed his sheep. To edify our brethren and sister. To uplift them. To show them the way. Okay? Not tell them the way. We have to show them the way. Okay? Work ethic. Okay? What type of work are you willing to put in for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? All right, are you reading on a daily basis? Okay, are you doing videos? Are you in the spirit? Okay, are you helping your brethren? Are you edifying your brother and his sister? Okay, what are you doing out to help this body? What are you doing to help Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Are you truly an asset? Are you a liability in this truth? Think about these things. These are the things you should ponder on. Are you doing good enough? Can you do better? Okay? For this truth. For your how about Shingawa Shah. What can you add to the table? Not take away. What can you add? That's what an asset is. A liability is someone you have to watch for. 
someone you have to be, precau be, be, be cautionary about, okay? Eliminate the liabilities and increase the assets in your life, okay? That can be in terms of uh, things you do. That can be in terms of people you hang around, okay? The things you do in life are either going to add up or they're going to subtract. Nobody in life stays the same. People have to understand that. You're either getting better in life or you are getting worse. But nobody stays stagnant because every day you have an opportunity to get better or to get worse. Okay? Each week you have a day to get better or to get worse. If the Lord willing, he grants you those days. Okay? So we have to understand what type of effort are we really giving? Okay? Are we really giving a better effort for the Lord than we are in the world? Are we working harder for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and His truth than we are working for a nine to five job or our business? Are we working harder at being a man of the Lord than we are at being a father, a husband, a friend, a brother? Okay, we have to think about these things. The Lord comes first, and everything we do, He should be first. Okay, He should be given the extreme maximum effort every day, every time you get a chance to put on for the Lord. You should do it at your best ability. Okay? Don't half-ass the Lord and expect him to make miracles come through for you. It don't work that way. Okay? Start giving the Lord more. <clears throat> Start giving him more of your time and even more of your effort. Okay? You can equate it to an hour workout. Okay? Someone who goes into the gym and works out, you know, and in between sets gets on his phone, sets is kind of just more of a laid back. You know, he does that for an hour. He really might have only worked for like 40 minutes. Opposed to a guy who goes into the gym for 30 minutes. And for all 30 minutes, he is strictly working. He didn't check his phone out one time. He's just been consistently working. Headphones in, locked in. He's given all out effort. Okay. Out of them two guys, I would want the guy that was able to give all out in 30 minutes. Okay. Then have an hour and only give all out for 40 minutes. Okay, so we need to do that for the Lord. We have 24 hours. And out of them 24 hours, what type of effort are you giving towards the Lord? And what type of effort are you giving towards the world? If your effort towards the world outweighs the effort towards your how about Yahweh Shai, then you need to realign and check yourself. Okay? You need to be better. We need to be able to give better effort for your how about Yahweh Shai. Better effort for our people. Okay? Because there's people out there that depend on you, best believe it. Okay, the Lord has set certain men up on high to be teachers, to be leaders, to be examples. Okay, and younger brethren in the faith are definitely watching and they're learning the things what to do and the things not to do. Okay, because you're supposed to learn the good and the bad. The good so you can continue re uh, reciprocating the good, but also the bad so you can learn what not to do. You have to learn on both sides. Okay, so that one day when it's your chance to lead, you know what not to do and you know what to do. Okay, so eyes are always on you, Israel, especially the leaders of Israel, especially the prophets of Israel. Eyes are always on you. It might be brothers you ain't never met. It might be brothers you, 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 you be around on a daily or a weekly or a monthly. It might be brothers you never associated with. It might be brothers you associate with. But best believe the Lord got the spirit working on certain brothers. Okay, and shining his light on certain brothers to help awake the elect. So what type of effort are you giving? What type of work ethic do you have? Is it something they can mimic and copy and be better? Or is it something they can mimic and copy and be worse? The eyes are watching effort and work ethic. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakwadash. A rock a dumb and double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth and salutations out there to the hopeful elect the brothers that are putting this work diligently sincerely and truthfully to you all I like to say shalom